Welcome viewers to our day two of studying the attributes of the word. And uh, yesterday we looked at how the word is living. And today we are going to look at how the word is powerful and active, another attribute of the word. And we're welcome to host Rita again. Rita, you're welcome. Thank you, Dr. Edith. Yes, so today we are talking about the word of God being powerful. Mm. And uh, we learned that what makes the word powerful is because of the one speaking. Mm -hmm. The word derives its power from the one speaking. So it's powerful because it is God speaking. And it's God himself. It's actually. God himself actually mm. expressing himself. Mm. Yes. Um, like when we, we see in Hebrews chapter 1 verse 3, one aspect we pick from there is that God upholds all things by the word of his power. Amen. So what makes the word of God powerful is that it cannot be hindered. It, 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 it is intact. It has the ability to accomplish. Mm -hmm. It has the ability to, to go beyond barriers. The mm. word of God is powerful because it supersedes nature and the things that we know, the wisdom of men. Yes, yes. It's beyond our calculations and equations. You cannot yeah. box it. Uh, no, you cannot. <laughs> you cannot put, you, you cannot put drop limitations. And, yes. yes. <laughs> yeah. So that is what makes it powerful. Yeah. It is able to break through hard situations that is why we look at it we, we refer to it as a hammer mm -hmm. there is no there is no situation that the word of god cannot turn around so it even goes beyond human wisdom yes common sense yes our limitations yes yes because it's power it's god himself yes. Yes. so this is god speaking yeah five loves eh? three yes. fishes but yes. then this is god Yes. There's nothing that it cannot do. Yes, and mm. it, it cannot be debated. Mm -hmm. It cannot be amended. Mm. Generally, because it's God himself, mm. you, you, cannot, you, you cannot put boundaries around it. Actually, that's why he says in his word mm. that when God said his word, when he sent forth his word, and when he swore by some, mm. when he swore upon something, because there was no other authority by which he would swear. He swore by himself because yes. his word is backed up by authority. It's the highest level of authority. It has power. It has unlimited power. Yes. And mm. then even when you talk about distance, mm. when we, we read in the, in the gospel books, most of the miracles that Jesus did, he simply spoke. And it came to and pass. And it came to pass. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He simply uttered. Even at creation, God just spoke and things happened. Things changed, things came into shape. They didn't take time, and follow no, the normal cycle. Actually, there's no process. Like, <laughs> it is instant because of who is speaking. Mm. So you cannot say maybe, wait, it is still loading. The word of God is not loading. <laughs> like, you can't say it is still loading. Mm. Uh, you don't. Mm. It is instant because mm. of who the speaker is yeah yes or who is backing it up yes not it it supersedes time and space as well exactly. okay yeah. that's why the the centurion soldier said lord you don't have to come to my daughter to heal her just speak your word and she'll be healed yes to my servants speak your word and he'll be healed yes yeah so okay. in our daily living as christians we are supposed to there is no logic we cannot put our logic in mm. God's word, we cannot put our understanding mm. or try to analyze, and that is where we mostly lose it. Mm. God speaks, He says a word, and we want to analyze, we want to measure, we want to assess. assess. It's, it's, Those it's are possible. things we do for our funny, earthly things. We don't bring that <laughs> familiarity on God's word. Okay. Yeah, when He speaks, we embrace it as it is in humility. Okay. If you need healing, Take it and let it, it be. Yeah. Receive. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much for that. Receive the word of God. The word of God is powerful. It has the power to do all that God has has put in it to do. So when you when you understand that aspect, you you will experience the power of God at work in your life. God bless you. See you tomorrow. <laughs>